everybody. Welcome back to the final installment of a four-part series on our windmill build. Today, we're going to be working on the sails to the windmill. And with any luck, you guys are pretty much right here at the end where you're going to be able to put your whole build together and have a nice four-story building playable for your tabletop gaming. So with that, make sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. I'll get back to everybody and hit that bell for notifications and all further videos on tabletop witchcraft. Alright, so here I'm using a uh, circle jig for the Proxon. I made this myself. I'll probably do a uh, tutorial on how to make one of these in the future. They come in real handy. Um, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm cutting out uh, circular, I guess, end caps. I don't really know what the name of these are. Um, I don't even know if they exist on a windmill, but I put them on mine. And you'll see there on the top, it's what the dowel is going to go through on each one for the, uh, the sail. Alright, so now I'm just putting some, uh, uh, drawing in some wood planks on this. Uh, you don't have to be exactly straight with them. Uh, a little crooked makes them look uh, a little bit more realistic. And uh, draw some wood grain on those. And then on the ends, you want to make sure you um, draw the ends of the wood as well. You'll see here that uh, I only did it on one section here. I didn't go all the way around the whole thing because then it might look like brick. When you look at it from the side, now it looks like there's just planks going in one direction. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I'm sharpening off some skewers. Um, they need to be pretty sharp because I've got these little quarter inch um, sticks of XPS foam. And here I'm cutting one right now, I'm trying to match the length of uh, the first sail. And you want to use one sail as a stencil, that way they're all the same length. And you want that um, skewer really sharp. Um, trust me, this is possible. Obviously, you're about to see it, but. You're going to want to put that dowel right through the center of that the entire way and it's going to turn this thing wicked stiff so um, no issue with it ever snapping or somebody breaking it off just take your time and uh, you'll get it add a little bit of wood grain to it you see a little tear right there um, but you know i think it looks good like that you know you never notice that it's a skewer through it just looks like it's uh, a defect in the wood matching up uh, another uh, post I guess for the sail on the opposite side we're gonna do four of these all together and now I'm just marking out uh, one inch apart um, where I'm putting like the support bracing I guess for the sail I do that ahead of time and then I got a bunch of little sticks here they were uh, toothpicks and I cut those, cut the sharp parts off. And here I got some cooking twine that I'm gonna to use to wrap around those to look like the lashing. And uh, basically, you just pull the, the cooking twine apart. It's probably 12 to 15 strands. And I keep about three, two to three strands um, as one section of rope, probably closer to three. And what you wanna do here is just put a little dab on each one of your marks one at a time, <clears throat> a little bit of hot glue, and then stick one of those skewers on it, those little toothpicks, blow on it for a second so it'll set up. And while the hot glue is still warm, you're gonna take that little piece of cooking twine and wrap it around it and pull it pretty tight, um, three or four times in one direction, then go the other. And it's gonna pull that right into the hot glue um, and that's never gonna come apart. After you've gone around a few times, uh, I just cut the uh, the back where I want it, and then a little dab of hot glue and stick it back in place to hold it. And you don't need a lot because you're gonna mod podge this again the entire thing. And 
Mod Podge is glue, so that's gonna be just another layer of glue over the whole thing when you're done. All right, you're gonna do that, uh, I think, four times on each one. And now I'm doing pretty much the same thing I did on that smaller section. I'm doing to the uh, quarter inch um, by quarter inch XPS foam that we put that little stick through. Putting a little bit of hot glue and I'm wrapping it around and then a little dab of hot glue at the end to keep the uh, cooking twine in place. All right, do that three more times and you'll be done. Next, uh, this took a little bit of bribing for my daughter. Uh, took her pink uh, fidget spinner that she wasn't using anymore. And uh, we're gonna use that to make the sail spin. So just get that in place and then uh, you know, wanna mark that out with a pen. All right, now this is a, a little bit of a tricky part. Uh, you wanna apply the glue to the dowel. Gives you a little bit more work and time. You apply it right to the metal fidget spinner. Um, it'll harden up on you real quick. And you gotta be real careful that when you push it through there, that you don't get any glue on the bearings. <clears throat> Otherwise, uh, that's the end of that. And just cut out um, a little section in, in that circular piece of XPS there on the table um, and now you kind of have to put the hot glue on the bearing because if you put it in the foam and you push down you're gonna get it all in the bearings the ball bearings so you gotta work quick here a little bit of hot glue on the uh, the bearing itself and then push it in slow and make sure not to get any glue inside there Here and just slapping a little bit of hot glue on uh, that little end cap that we made earlier. Set that in place, that'll be for the front. And then we got one here for the back. As you can see, the dowel slides right through the entire roof, right to the back uh, support, that circular support that we just put on. All right, now we want to mod podge everything. <clears throat> you just want to be real careful here, um, again, of that bearing, but hit everything up, the cooking twine, all the little dowels, all that. And here I just made a mixture. Come up with any kind of brown you like. I like to do something a little bit different, a little contrast to the rest of the build. Uh, I just mixed a bunch of browns and grays together and uh, <clears throat> just painting up the, um, all the wood. And I did a light brush uh, before this, as you can see, and I'm just finishing off the uh, end piece here with another light brush. And it's all going to darken up once you put that brown wash on it, <coughs> which uh, I don't think I showed in the video, but that would be the next step. And here I'm just adding a little detail to the base of the blade here. I'm cutting out a little ring out of some cardboard. Be careful here on this part. And cut the intersection out. And this is gonna be like a little metal bracing. Um, you'll see here. And then I cut another little tiny section of cardboard off that looks like uh, another layer of metal bracing for the metal itself. And a few pinholes makes gives it the illusion of uh, nails holding it in place. And there it is.
Hey everybody, we made it. By this point, you guys should have a fully functional four-story windmill for all your tabletop gaming needs. So make sure to hit that like button, comment and subscribe, and the bell for notifications for all further videos here on Tabletop Witchcraft.